today's video, I'm going to be doing some DIY Easter gifts and treats. I don't know about you guys, but I love watching and making Easter videos, and spring and Easter is just one of my favorite times of the year. It's just getting warmer outside, and it's making me even more excited for summer. But anyway, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys four different types of Easter gifts you can give to your friends and family, and also some treats you can make for yourself, for your friends or family, or for a party, or really just anything you want. I just threw together a bunch of ideas and fun things you can make around the Easter season, or even for spring. A lot of these also correlate with spring, so if you don't celebrate Easter, you can still make a bunch of these things. And also, just as I say in all my Christmas videos, we want to remember the true meaning of Easter if you celebrate it, because it's one of the most important Christian holidays ever, and we definitely just don't want to forget the meaning. These are just one of my favorite types of videos to make, so I really hope you guys enjoy it. And let's go ahead and get started! Yeah. <laughs> so for our first DIY gift, I'm going to show you guys how to make these super cute peep plush keychain type thing. So all you're gonna do is start out with some felt. I decided to use yellow because that's the typical peep color. And then I just took a Sharpie and roughly outlined the shape of a peep bunny. I looked at an image online, I could not just freehand that, but do whatever you want. And then you're just gonna cut that out with some scissors. Once you do that, take the peep that you just cut out and trace it onto another piece of felt and cut that out as well because you want to make sure you have two sides to your peep. This next step is up to you, but I decided to use a needle and thread to connect both pieces of my felt together. You could also use fabric glue or hot glue. Both of those will work just as well, but I just decided to try needle and thread out and it worked super well. So what you're going to do is just sew or glue both sides of your felt together, making sure to leave a little hole open so that we can use stuffing. And once you do that, go ahead and take some stuffing, or if you don't have that, you can use rice to fill this as well. And just stuff as much as you can in there. The key is to use as much as possible because it'll help keep everything full and nice and even. And then once you have as much stuffing in as possible, you can go ahead and take your glue or needle and thread and seal everything together until no more stuffing comes out. And then for the last step, all you have to do is just cut out some little tiny circles of brown or black felt for the nose and eyes, and then go ahead and hot glue those on. And then once you do that, you're finished with your little peep plush gift. I think they're so cute. You could also turn these into keychains by adding a little piece of felt at the top where the ears are, and then you could put a keychain on that if your friend would prefer. But I think they're super cute, they're cheap to make, and they're a perfect gift for Easter. <laughs> these super easy DIY bunny cupcakes all you're going to do is make some cupcakes I made mine ahead of time off camera and I chose to use vanilla you could use whatever flavor you prefer and all you're going to do is take some white frosting and just frost the tops of all of your cupcakes and you want to make sure the frosting is as white as possible because we want our bunnies to be that color you could I mean if you wanted your bunny to be brown you could use chocolate frosting really whatever you want but I just thought white was a good color and go ahead and frost all of your cupcakes and once you do that you are just going to take a jumbo sized marshmallow and take some very clean scissors and cut the marshmallow in half diagonally and I also just cut off some more excess to make them thinner and easier to use and on the sticky side of your marshmallow you're just going to dip it into some red or pink sprinkles to look like our bunny ears and then take a toothpick stick that inside of the marshmallows and then place them into your cupcakes and then lastly I just put on a hard candy for the nose and you have a little bunny it's super cute and all you have to do is just continue cutting up marshmallows dipping them in sprinkles placing toothpicks inside of them and then putting them on top of your cupcakes and once you do that to all of your cupcakes, you are finished, and I just think these turned out so adorable. I think they'd be perfect to give away to your friends for Easter, or you could have them at a party or anything like that, and they're super easy to make, and I definitely recommend them because they're perfect for Easter. Our next Easter gift, it starts out with making some Easter eggs. So first you're going to need some hard boiled eggs and just place one of them onto a little piece of paper towel and then wrap it up and secure it off with a hair elastic or a twist tie until the egg doesn't fall out of the paper towel. 
And next you're just going to need different colors of food coloring and I also strongly recommend that you wear some gloves because if you don't your hands will get very stained. So all you're going to do is take some drops of food coloring and drop them all over your egg and paper towel. Make sure not to have them too far apart but don't have them too close together because you don't want the colors to blend and turn black. And just continue doing this until you've filled up pretty much all of your paper towel. You're not about to fill them, you're not about to be them. Next, you're just going to take a spray bottle filled with water and lightly spray all over your paper towel egg. Make sure not to spray too much or else the colors will be diluted, but this just helps everything blend together for a nice tie-dye effect. And then you can just do the same process with all of your hard-boiled eggs, and you can use different color schemes, really whatever you want. And then once you have finished spraying and tie-dyeing all of your eggs, you're going to let them dry for three to four hours until all the paper is pretty much dry. And then you are left with some beautiful tie-dye Easter eggs. I am so amazed with how these turned out. Usually when I dye Easter eggs, the color is not strong enough, but these are so vibrant and colorful, not to mention they're super easy to do. And I just, I'm like obsessed with them. I think they turned out perfectly. You could use them for yourself, or you could put them in an Easter basket like I'm doing here for this DIY Easter gift. And overall, I'm just so happy with how these turned out. So now that we've made these, let's go ahead and move on to the rest of the gift. I hear you breathe, but I can't see if you're right here next to me. To make our DIY Easter basket, you're going to obviously need an Easter basket. I got mine for $2 at Michael's. And then I just decided to fill it up with some little goodies. I found some mini bath bombs at Target, and I also added in some peeps because peeps are a typical Easter treat. And then I also found this super cute little mini grow your own daisy kit for a dollar at Target. I thought it was really spring themed so I included that in the basket as well. And of course I added in our tie dye Easter eggs that we just made because Easter egg, like what's an Easter basket without Easter eggs, you know what I mean? So I put those in. And you could also put in nail polish, lip gloss, just anything your friend likes. It could go in the Easter basket. I think this is just a super cheap and cute thing to do for one of your friends or even family members. It's really customizable fun to make and I just love this. I definitely recommend doing this if you don't know what to get your friend for Easter. To make our DIY bird's nest treats, all you're going to do is start out by melting one and a half cups of mini marshmallows and one and a half tablespoons of butter in a saucepan and then add in a splash of vanilla extract. And once it's all melted, you can just Pour two cups of chow mein noodles into a bowl. I found these at Target. You can pretty much find them at any grocery store. And then just pour in your melted marshmallow mixture into the chow mein noodles and go ahead and stir that together. It's gonna be super sticky, but stir it up until it's all combined. Next, I just took some cooking spray and lightly sprayed my hand with that because I didn't want the marshmallows to stick to my hands when I started forming. So I just took some of the chow mein noodle mixture and used my hands to form a little ball. And then I just pressed my thumbs in the center to make a little divot so that it looks like a bird's nest. It's super easy to do and it's kind of self-explanatory. Just use up all the mixture until you have little bird's nests formed. And next, take some little egg-shaped candies. I decided to use some mini Cadbury eggs because those are my favorite. You could also use robin eggs or anything else that you can find. And you're just going to put a few of those into the bird's nest and since the marshmallows are sticky, they'll stay in there well. And that's all you have to do to make these little bird's nest treats. As you can tell, they take like 10 minutes to make and they taste really yummy as well. I just think you guys should definitely make these because they're really unique and original and festive for Easter. So that was it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below as always for more exciting videos coming. Please comment down below if you guys are going to make any of these Easter treats or gifts. And if you do, make sure to tag me on Instagram or Twitter and show me what you've made because I would love to see. Also, don't forget to check out my Mini Lucy shirts. The link is down below because we have a bunch of designs over there and it would mean the world to me if you guys would go check them out. So I think that's all I have to say for this video. Thank you guys so much again for watching. I love you so much and I'll talk to you in my next video.